Hi, this is Beata from Splitco Stampers. In this video, I want to show you how to create ornaments out of microscope sli slides or memory glass. I'm going to use two inch squares memory glass from Rangers. For this, uh, for my first sample, I already stamped and colored an image from Crafty Secrets and cut it down to one and seven eighth inch. I also created a backing out of um, pattern paper and I will sandwich both of these between memory glass. I use clear mem memory glass for the back and then frosted memory glass for a more vintage look on the front. Now there are different ways to finish it off. For my first sample I'm going to show you how to use a frame also from memory, uh, from rangers. All you do is sandwich your um, pieces and slide them into the frame that you opened. Then stick these little knob back through this opening and fold it shut. Now all you have to do is add ribbon for a hanger and some decoration. This image is from Vintage Christmas from Crafty Secrets. Next, for a different version, I'm using Creative Scraps from Crafty Secrets um, and a Tim Holtz memo pin for the inside and I'm just going to use a little bit of um, adhesive to make it stick, to make sure it sticks between my two layers. And that will be my hanger. I think I'm going to scoot it down just a little bit more. There. Try to center it. And I'm using two images, one plain one for the back and one the angel for the front. Again I'm using frosted glass for the front and a clear one for the back. And now instead of adding it into a frame, if you don't have a frame or if you want something different, you can um, use strong adhesive and add this all around your, your two frame, your two pieces of glass. Center it because you want to fold it over and then either add glitter or micro beads, maybe even flower soft, whatever you want to add to this. Okay, oh, I need a scissor. Oopsie, a little bit crooked, but it will work to show. Okay, now for the edges, I'm just going to cut it in a little bit so I can fold it over. Easier. And usually I have the scissor in my other hand if you're wondering why I'm cutting so strange. Now I fold it over. I'm using a quarter inch tape and take the lining off and then add whatever you want around it to add some interest. I am not sure how this will look but I'm going to use um, vintage glass glitter. some more. Just pour it over the edges. Probably easier this way. There you have it. I would just fiddle with it some more. But that's another way 
to decorate your edges and if you don't have any memory frames but you have some glass this is a way to decorate it. You could also use uh, pictures from your children and give it to your grandparents. For that I would um, suggest that you use not frosted in the front so we can see the faces better. I hope you try it out. It's fun and it's fast. See you next time.